Hello, I'm John Weber, and in this tutorial, I'm going to take you through using wireless LAN on TechNection products. Most of our products, including all of our system on modules through our systems, can be ordered with fully certified wireless modules, which include both wireless LAN and Bluetooth functionality. In wireless LAN, you can operate in one of three modes. You can operate in station mode, access point mode, or concurrent mode. In station mode, the product connects as a device to a wireless LAN access point and uses that as an ethernet connection to the local network. In access point mode, the device operates as an access point handling connections from other stations, allocating IP addresses, and so forth. In concurrent mode, the device acts as both a station and an access point, which is useful in some use cases, such as initial provisioning a device into a local wireless network. This tutorial is gonna take you through how to set up and operate our products in the first two modes, station and access point mode. Because concurrent mode requires a change to the driver configuration and a driver rebuild, we're gonna leave that to another tutorial. First, let's go through the process for station mode where the device acts as a client connecting to a local access point. In this tutorial we'll be using the Pico IMX 8M Mini on the Pico Pi baseboard without a display so we'll need to have access to the serial port of the device. In theory you could also do this through SSH and the wired network interface but that can be a little complicated if your host is on the same network as you are trying to connect to with wireless LAN. Plus we wanted to show you how to do this in a situation where your device doesn't have network access and wireless LAN is the way that it will get that access. So first, just connect a micro USB cable to this connector, and then you'll get two USB serial interfaces, one of which is the Linux serial console device. For this, we're gonna be running Yocto on the target device, which makes use of Conman as the network connection manager. Okay, so here you see my Linux desktop. I am going to connect to the USB to serial port on the target, which is the Pico Pi IMX 8M Mini. And to do that, I'm gonna use the screen program. So I start off with sudo screen and the serial port slash dev slash TTY USB zero. And then I'm gonna do 115.200 for the baud rate. Okay, so now I have a Linux prompt here on the target. So the first thing I'm gonna do, since we're connecting as a station to a local access point, is I'm gonna run conman control. C-O-N-N-M-A-N-C-T-L. Remember the C-O-N-N, -N, conman. <laughs> conman control. Okay, don't worry about that warning right there. Then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to scan for available Wi-Fi networks. And it's going to, it does, that does not block, but it comes back and it says the scan is completed. And I run agent on, and then I can list out the services. And these are all the different access points that are available in my local area. In this case, I'm going to connect to this XA2200 access point. This is one of the access points built by our sister company, Zada. It is a enterprise capable Wi-Fi mesh router slash access point. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect to this. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy that. And to connect to it, I just type connect. And then I paste this. And then I need to type in a passphrase. I've set that to be technection. And then if everything is successful, we'll get a report back saying everything is ready and then I connect it to that access point. So now I can quit out of command control and I can just check it. So I can ping www.google.com, for example. You can see I have pings coming from Google. I could ping another web address. So say ping www. Let's see here, microsoft.com. And there we go. So in this next segment, what I wanna show you is how to configure the unit as an access point. And for that, I'm going to need another unit that I can easily use to show how that access point is visible and how to connect to it. So for that, I have another one that will serve as a station to this access point. This is a module, an Axon IMX 8 and MIDI module. And then um, I'm going to configure the Pico IMX 8 and MIDI as an access point. So for that, we're gonna to need to connect back up into the serial port. So here I have the Linux prompt on the Pico IMX 8M Mini. And to configure this as an access point, there is a pretty simple command. All you need to run is conman control again. And you give it the tether command. 
and you want to tether Wi-Fi on an SSID. In this case, I'm going to call it something. You make up this SSID, configure it however you like, and then you need to provide it with a passphrase. In this case, I'm going to provide it with a passphrase technection. And you'll go ahead and start that. Life is good. So if I type if config now, you'll see that I have a local network configuration. So I have a, I have this board plugged into my local network here. And then I also have a tether port here. And that tether port has the internet address 192.168.1.1. So I'm going to leave this for a second. I'm going to come over to the other module, the Axon module, and I'm going to connect it as a station into the access point here. So I'm going to go conman control. All right. And now I want to go uh, scan Wi-Fi like I did before and wait for it to be done and then type agent on services. And you can see we have the Pico dash IMX eight MM service. So if I just type in copy here and I can connect and then paste that and I have to type in the passphrase T E C H N E X I O N. And I'll just wait for it to connect. Looks like it's connected, so life is good. I can just now go ahead and quit out of conman control and I can ping www.google.com and I should be able to get some pings back of Google, that's great. And also just to show you the if config, you can see that I don't have anything connected to the local wired network of this board. The only network access I have is through wireless LAN zero which is this wireless LAN port. That concludes this particular segment and also concludes this particular tutorial on how to configure wireless LAN in both station and access point mode. I'm John Weber, thanks for your attention. See you next time.